Hello, and welcome to the Q&A. So before I start, I want to say that I'm filming outside because the audio in my room is really bad. I haven't actually tested it on the new camera yet, but I don't like it. I don't have a mic for the camera yet. The echoes, I don't like it. It's better out here. And so the other day, I posted on my Instagram, and I announced it in the Hilarious Trampoline Fail video that I'd be doing a Q&A, and the way you guys could ask me questions was through a post I put up on Instagram the other day. So I put that up, I didn't think I'd get too many questions, and like as of right now, I posted it yesterday, there are almost 400 total questions. I'm not going to be answering all of them, but I'll try to answer as many as I can. I also want to say, yesterday for Halloween, I was planning on filming a video, I think I was doing something along the lines of tricking for treats, and then I saw that Tanner did it, so I just decided I shouldn't do it, I'd probably get hate for copying. Basically, I was going to film a video yesterday, but I didn't because someone else already did it. But I'm sure you guys are here for the Q&A, so I'm going to get into the Q&A. I took a bunch of screenshots so that I didn't have to, like, go through Instagram and do it because it would just, like, crash and lag out. So, I got screenshots and screenshots. First question, who's your favorite YouTuber? I have a few favorites. Adrenaline Addiction, Casey Neistat, and Danny Duncan. Those guys are my favorites. I mean, who doesn't love Casey Neistat? But... Adrenaline Addiction, Chase, he's just insane. Crazy Cliff Jumper, stuff like that I really enjoy watching. And then Danny Duncan is just a hilarious prankster. I feel like it'd be really funny to meet him one day. If my channel does grow to bigger than it is right now, I would love to collab with him, meet up with a bunch of other people. But those are my favorite YouTubers. How much money do I make off of YouTube? <laughs> not enough. If you could have one wish for anything you want, what would you wish? I don't know, I would probably wish to not live in Maryland because Maryland sucks and I don't want to wish for money. When will you see Tanner and who is your favorite YouTuber? I just answered the favorite YouTuber question. Tanner, my original plan was to meet up with him again in February-ish, fly out to Kansas. I don't know if that's gonna happen though because I still have a bunch of complications going on. I don't even know if he's like free because he's totally taking off. He has a bunch of other stuff going on. I have no idea when the next time will be, but I'm planning for February. Favorite trick to do on trampoline and on flat ground. On trampoline, favorite tricks, probably a triple fold just because those are super easy and I'm really good at them now, so I can just like do them. I can just pull them out of nowhere on like any trampoline and people are impressed because I do a bunch of twists and it looks pretty cool. And on ground, just a backflip because I can do that and people are impressed anywhere you do it. At what age did you learn to backflip? By the way, you're sick, man. I learned how to backflip in seventh grade, so I was 13 when I first did it. it took me a while to take it outside because the first time I just went and tried it outside I landed straight on my neck and then I stopped doing it for a really long time and then I got back into it a few months later. When are you going to get a P.O. Box? I'm thinking most likely towards the end of this month when I get my next YouTube paycheck because I'm absolutely broke right now. You guys probably know that if you stuck around my channel for a while I have absolutely no money. I can't pay for anything. My next investment is a fisheye lens for the camera because you can tell like this is the camera not zoomed in at all and it's still like really zoomed in, I think. But yeah, P.O. Box probably towards the end of November, early December, most likely. How much was your camera and do you care if it's not a very known camera? First of all, this camera is called a Panasonic Lumix G7. I got, picked it up like a week ago. I was really excited to get it because I did a bunch of research on it. Main reason I like it, it was fairly cheap. I got it for $800. It shoots 4K. I'm not going to go through all the features because it's going to bore you, but I do not care at all that it's not a known camera. You guys can obviously tell that this camera totally outperforms the GoPro I used to shoot on, and it just performs great for the money, so I love it. And that's all that really matters. How did you convince your parents to let you get a trampoline? I don't know. They kind of just like got it. Like, look, the spring free they kind of just got for me at one point. And then I had to do a lot of digging to get the Akon, the rectangle. That one was a pain to get. I had to go through lots to get that one. I had the spring fee for a really long time. And then I, like once I started getting really into it, I couldn't use it anymore. I had to get a better trampoline. That's why I have the big rectangle. What is your subscriber goal for the end of the year? I'm assuming you're talking about the end of 2016. My original goal was 10,000. Since we're almost at like 12,000 right now, I'm already past that goal. I'm happy with anything at this point. Are you sometimes scared to do triple backflip? I am fairly scared of those on my trampoline, but whenever I go to Dynamite the Open Gym, I do triple kabooms, which are really similar. I like those more because I'm more comfortable with it. I don't really know why. I don't really like triple backflips that much. Uh, there, are a, there are a lot of freaking Tanner questions in here. If I gave you $12 million and you had to spend it all in one day, what would you buy? That's a good question. I'd probably buy a really good camera, a really good computer, a bunch of really cool equipment, and then I'd go travel to somewhere. I don't even know where I'd travel to because I've been to Hawaii, which is a great place. I'd probably go to like Dubai or a really crazy cliff jumping spot and make an awesome video there. But I feel like that'd be sick just to travel, spend all my money on like equipment and traveling, and then just make like the coolest video there is. What trick took you the longest to learn? 
Kabooms. Kabooms took me an incredibly long time, but one day that kind of just like clicked. If you don't know what a kaboom is, I'll cue trouble kaboom right here. But yeah, basically you like hit your feet after you hit your back and it was like really confusing and then one day it just clicked. I don't remember really how it happened, I kind of just learned it. And then I doubled it the next day and then I was like, okay, yeah, I understand it. How much money did all of your trampolines cost together? The spring free, that one was like 2000, maybe 10 years ago, maybe 3000, I actually completely forget, but that was a lot of money at the time. And this one was 1700 with the net. So if you do the math, it's over $3,000. Easy, it's like almost $4,000. When did you get into trampoline and what got you into trampoline tricks in general? I started getting really into it. I remember the day, the day after spring break ended in seventh grade, I just got back from France and I was hanging out with Tyler and I was like, hey, you know what, I'm gonna try a double backflip. And then I did it like right away. I landed it second try. I don't know, after I did that, I kind of just took off with flipping and that's kind of what led me to where I am today. Aside from YouTube, but like, cause before I did YouTube, I would just record videos on my phone and then like edit it on my phone. And then I put it on Instagram. Like if you guys look through my Instagram, a lot of my like older posts were just like edits I would put out. I love doing that and now I do it through YouTube. Will you ever quad on tramp? Quad back, probably never. Quad front, I don't wanna say no, but I most likely won't. There's a chance I will though because this isn't official yet, but after I go to Woodward this year, my plan is to host a meetup at my house with a few kids up at Woodward and we would like hang out here for a few days, throw it out on the tramp, make an awesome video. Those kids are all insane, so there is a pretty good chance I will in the event that that happens. What's the worst trampoline fail you've ever had? Okay, this one is pretty funny. So about a year ago, when I was like still like learning how to do stuff, I could do full ins, I could do a bunch of stuff I can do right now, but that was before I had this trampoline, right? I only had the spring free, okay? And so I thought to myself, okay, I'm gonna try some, I think my goal was to try a full in, full out, but the problem is, with that trampoline, it's not high enough, so I hit the ground every time I went too high. Basically, I landed on my neck doing a full in, full out, and I like couldn't move after it, which was horrible. I don't have the clip, so I'm just gonna cue the edit, because I broke the phone that I recorded it on. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your life. But yeah, that killed me. I was out for a few days after that. Probably my worst trampoline fail. How old were you when you started your channel? I was 14 when I started it. I just started it a few months back. I didn't get really into making videos until like two months ago though. Are you going to Woodward in 2017 summer? I am definitely going to Woodward 2017 summer. As to what week though, I'm not sure. I wanna say week six, cause that's when I went last year. Favorite part about meeting fans? Oh, that's funny. The person that asked this, this was a girl that Tanner and I met when Tanner was in Maryland. I think the best part is just being able to say that people know who you are, and it's awesome to see people that like actually watch my videos. What songs do you listen to when you flip? I think currently my favorite pump up song, Staying Out All Night, Cranked Out, and Luke Have Remix. This song, I loved it. No one ever really caught on to it though. This is what it sounds like. Yeah, no one ever caught on to that song. I don't know why. It was such an awesome song. I will honestly, I will freaking quad to that song. How did you meet Tanner? Okay, this is a good one. I haven't actually answered this before. So we first started talking back in like January. It was actually through Xbox. That's how we met. This was like right when Black Ops 3 was released, like maybe a month or two after that. We talked for a lot. Back then he had like maybe 2,000 subscribers, not even like 1,000. This is before he is what he is today. We talked a lot. And eventually we decided that like it'd be cool to meet up. The plan was for me to go to the Midwest meetup 2016, but I couldn't cause I was busy with a bunch of other stuff. So I couldn't go. He came down here and then he met up with Luke Brogan. That's how we met. What are your goals for the next couple of years for YouTube and where do you see yourself in 10 years? My only goal is to hit a million at some point in my life. It doesn't matter when. My dream is to be able to do YouTube for the rest of my life. It's such a cool job because people can like look at the content I make and they enjoy watching it, that's the best part about doing YouTube and why I wanna be able to do it for the rest of my life. What program do you use to edit? I actually don't wanna answer this, but I'm gonna do it anyways because it's actually fairly embarrassing. I edit on iMovie on Mac, that's funny, free program. I'm like, I've mastered it, like I know how to use it really well, but I also do have Adobe overlays. If you guys like watch the edits I make, like if you're like the colors and stuff you see whenever they're like flaring, like CQ flares, 
all that is Adobe overlays. I edit with iMovie. I need to upgrade to Final Cut in the future, like really soon, just because I want to be able to have more editing capabilities. Will you go to the Midwest Meetup 2017 if invited? I will most likely go to the Midwest Meetup 2017 if there is one. When is your birthday and what is your favorite trick? I answer the favorite trick. Birthday is August 15th. My birthday is August 15, 2001, so I turned 15 a few months ago, and I hope I just made your day for answering that. Can you do front twisting on a trampoline like Randy's and Adolf's? I'm gonna go try a Randy right now. I probably won't do it well, just because I hate front twisting, but I, I am capable of it. No warm up. So I am capable, I just don't like it. Where were you born? I was born in New Jersey, a hospital called Morristown Memorial, and I moved here Maryland, I think it was like anywhere from three to five. I don't remember, but there are a lot of people asking me about dabbing. I clarify this in, the, in a video from a few days ago. I do it to look stupid. I don't actually support it. Why do you always use green hearts? Oh, you know why. So that's about it for this q and I feel like it's been going for a really long time. I've also feel like I said I feel like a lot in this video. Fairly long. I know I'm not going to enjoy editing this. It's going to take a really long time. Hopefully I answered a lot of you guys' to questions. This is the first time I've actually done one of these. I hope it turns out pretty well. I answered like a lot, a lot of questions. I didn't think I'd be going through that many. And this video would not be possible without you guys. All the questions, great questions from you guys. Really appreciate it. And on that note, if you guys stuck to the end, you're awesome. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you're new. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Oh, one more thing. New outro by Jeremy Thomas. Same general outro. It just fits the whole YouTube end screen and previous video. So make sure you guys go subscribe to him. Link to his channel will be in the description down below. But yeah, peace out. Now we